Hello everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to Jared Gaming. Welcome back to the world of horror. Some crazy things have happened since we've played this game. Some strange creatures we've vanquished and a whole lot of other just, just weird stuff. Because this game is really weird, but it's so freaking awesome. I'm loving it. I can't wait to play more. So without further ado, I'm diving straight back in to continue our game. Okay, well now that I know that we can do things like take a bath and stuff, I'm going to do... Oh, I've already taken a bath. I guess you can only do that once. Of course, you only take one bath. Let's take a peek out our peephole real quick. Still nothing going on out there. Uh, it's a nice day outside. How nice. Nothing in our drawer here. Light switch don't work. Great. Kidnap ritual? What is this? When your allies die, a random... I don't have any allies, so that does me no freaking good. Let's... Before we do anything, we're going to find our baseball bat, tiny key, and the bottled water. I don't know why we would need the bottled water, but perhaps a random encounter will... We will perhaps we will need it at that point. Let's check out what mystery we have in store for us today. It's the eerie episode of Evolving Eels. Sounds slitheringly delicious. Um, perhaps not the right word, actually. All right, well, let's start that mystery, shall we? The eerie episode of Evolving Eels. While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies... Fish? You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Hooray! Aren't you curious what weird fish did he bring this time? She grins. You're weird, Kana, but I kind of like your weird craziness. Let's go investigate this mystery. Do we have Kana with us now? Friendly neighbor, important, negative one damage received during combat, ready for adventure. Oh, cool! We do have an ally now. Sweet! We're going on an adventure with Kana! Hooray! We're not alone in this crazy mixed up world. Okay, Kana, I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself, please. Why would he recognize you, Kana? Have you been consorting with this creepy neighbor of yours? All right, before we do anything, let's go and investigate the seaside location twice to get this quest out of the way. Even though the the quest might naturally lead us there, but it might not, so I'm just going to get out of the way right off the bat. Do do do, we have some friends with us today. Air Force. The military exercise makes you feel safer, but are guns enough to stop the unspeakable horrors lurking out there? Plus four to doom, plus two to reason. Well, our doom is up to 50%. That is somewhat worrying, considering I think if we get to 100% we die or we fail or something. Um, but plus two reason is always nice. Once more into the seaside breach. Walking on the beach, you spot a weirdly colored rock. It seems to be covered in some kind of black algae. Getting closer, you realize it's not a rock. Ooh, Drowner's Sponge? It needs another body now. Oh, you can't have mine or my friend Kana. Screw you. He's got 26 HP. Can Kana do anything? Ask your ally to distract the enemy. If it succeeds, faster combat action for the duration of this encounter. If failed, lose random ally base chance. Oh, well, that's not good. You know what, Kana? I want you to be the distraction. <laughs> <laughs> we might lose her, but you know what? We haven't had an ally, and that seems like a really useful skill. So, let's just do it and see what happens. Uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Did, did it succeed? I feel like it didn't, but I didn't see anything. Uh, we bashed the Drowner, and they... I don't know. Screw it. Kana, you're good for nothing! Let's attack boost as we have been doing. Use our powerful attack. Oh, now we can attack twice again. I don't understand why that changes. Maybe it's based on our strength? It is strength based. Hmm. I don't know. Let's kick its ass. Kick its ass, sea bass. Oh, we missed. Great. So that didn't do us any freaking good. Okay, so he damages our reason, not our health. So that's something. I'm going to keep doing... I'm going to keep doing this. We can kick, at least. But our strong attack will be a, a successful hit. Okay, cool. We need to kill this guy, and we need to do it now. Attack boost some more. Okay. This isn't going to kill him. But he's almost dead. 
Hana is completely useless at this point. She was supposed to distract this freak of nature and failed miserably. But we, he's only got two health left, so let's just, let's take him down. <laughs> you defeated the Drowner Sponge. We got nothing from it. No items, no anything. You may be going crazy, but you can swear something is watching you from the sea. Negative one reason. Are you freaking kidding me? We're already so low on our reason. I don't think we have anything. We could check the item storage, but I think that costs doom, and I don't really want to use up any more doom if we can help it. So let's just do what we came here to do, investigate the apartments and the creepy neighbor. Do 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 do. Nothing's gonna happen. A wired preacher. <laughs> What's he wired on? Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord and Savior? The day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't you definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real Hello? Are you still there? Should we listen to the man or hang up immediately? I'm going to hang up immediately. I don't like this guy. You put down the phone a little shaken up. Just how many people did that odd man call today? Negative one reason. We are running dangerously low on reason at the moment. I do not like that. Kana, dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? I did not say that, Kana. The demons in your brain said that. It must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. Well, let's go investigate the school. Okay, so the school, we can recruit allies and learn gossip at the cost of doom. And the library, to study current mystery, doom for spells? <sighs> eh, let's just investigate. I don't want to... We are so low on reason, and most of the random events cost us reason, so until I can find something to give us back reason, I'm going to just continue to investigate the school with our friend Kana. Black Sludge. The corridor is flooded by a black sludge that's slowly oozing from under the door to the chemistry's classroom. A damp, moldy stench grows as you get closer. How are you going to get on the other side? <gasps> Need empty bottle? Are you kidding me? We filled it with water. Wait a minute. Did this still work? You bottle up a sample of the sludge, trying your best not to pass out from the stench. Okay. I guess it did work. Well, now we have sludge for some reason. Interesting, I didn't think that was gonna work. Cool. The neighbor's office at school was empty. You did find a few jars all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protest, Kana decides to take one of the jars home. You idiot. Why would you do that? Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky, don't you have a feeling it's watching us? Yes, that's why you shouldn't take it. How can she sip her soda so calmly staring at this creepy creature? She's not normal anymore. She's compromised, I'm sure of it. All right, let's go back to the apartments and investigate. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, raining blood lady. A woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore between sobs. Yes, she was taking a shower, then blood. Last time we tried to calm her down and it didn't work. Let's check the bathroom this time. Crap. <laughs> Knowledge check failure. You didn't find anything. The smell of blood makes you weak. Negative one stamina. At least it was just stamina and not our reason. We can spare a little bit of stamina. Canna, I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go check it out. Is the eel even alive? <laughs> I think we need to be worrying about our friend. I feel like she's not right in the head. Visitor. Oh. We've had this before as well. Loud knocking. Open up. I know you're there. Last time we got closer to the door to ask what was the matter and we successfully did some check. I'm going to try it again and see if we can do it again. Dang it. Dexterity. Why is our dexterity is like our highest attribute and it still failed. Jeez, before you can answer the door's letterbox suddenly opens an unknown invader tries to look inside. You lurch back and shock the man sees you and tries to get in screaming curses the whole time. A neighbor calls the police and the attacker escapes from your apartment building. Negative two reason, we are almost insane. This is not good. Kana was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both returned to your apartment and tried to decipher the notes. Kana. That's so weird. Your neighbor really was into eels, it seems. You begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with. Probably not. I wish there was a way to, for us to get reason back. I really do. None of- we have no spells. We still have a concussion. I did not know we still had a concussion. Well, that's not good. We have the burnt notes, though. We can inspect them. Eels of the something perfect something could lay their eggs inside hum- 
I think Kana's been infected with eel eggs. I think that is what has happened. That seems like a clue to me. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, there's nothing else we can do. Let's just investigate further. I have a bad feeling about this. Vending machine. Ooh. Why don't the empty quarter you find an old vending machine? You don't recognize the brands or sodas inside, but you could really use a drink. Get the most expensive one or get the cheapest one. Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to go with the most expensive one. Tastes a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyways. Negative one funds, but did that do anything for us other than cost us money? Are you serious? There must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding in there. I don't trust you, Kana. I can see the truth. You shrug noncommittally. You just wish you could throw this damn jar into the trash. You definitely should. Is there no way we can do that? I wish that we could. Oh, now we have to go to the seaside. See, I knew we would end up there eventually. Eldritch Statuette. Something pulls you towards the beach. A statuette half buried in the sand is calling you. Feeling your hand shaking, you take a step closer. Oh, I think we should take it home. The statuette is surprisingly heavier than it looks. Maybe it's mirized, you take it home and wonder where you'll display it. It's a bad idea. Great. Thinking about how stupid it is of Canada trying to break into your neighbor's apartment, you go to sleep because that's what a normal person would do when their friend's about to do something irrational. You spend an entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell is she? I do not know. Probably at the school. Okay, I want to try to find this. I'm going to try to shop for some items. If we can get something back for a reason, I want to see if we can get it. Cigarettes give us reason. I'm going to buy some cigarettes and use them. Nay, we have one more reason, but our lungs are blackened. <laughs> oh well, every little bit helps. All right, let's go investigate the school now. Look for Kana, the stupid idiot. Stubborn receptionist, ooh. Getting access to the student database would certainly speed up your investigation, but the receptionist would never allow it. If only there was a way to make her go away for a while. Needs ally, which we don't have, so I guess we'll talk to her and probably lose some reason. Oh, charisma check success. Unannounced in inspection, she asks. Thank you for telling me. While the receptionist is busy updating some boring papers, you copy some names and addresses from the database. Plus 10 experience. Hell yeah, we so, we so charismatic. Oh, I'm suffering from nicotine rush. Oh, for crying out loud. I did not know that was a thing. It could have told me. <laughs> Kana has been missing since yesterday. You decide to check out the neighbor's apartment yourself. Oh, I think we found our destination. Target location, investigate the neighbor's apartment. She probably broke in and turned into a monster. Neighbor's kitchen. Oh my goodness. Look at these eels. They are on crazy crack. You cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked to see countless jars filled with eels flailing around, rest flailing around restlessly. Where the hell is Kana? Check the bathroom, check the bedroom, or escape. Ah, well, we should probably find her. Check the bathroom. Oh, a swollen body of your neighbor is rotting away inside putrid, murky water. Both his eyes are missing, with countless tiny blood trails leading from them in all directions. Great, more reason and more stamina lost. Let's go to the bedroom. Oh, hi, you okay? You finally find Kana. I, I found the neighbor, but, but when his eye bursted, I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something my own eye too now. Holy crap. I'm afraid there's something my own eye now too. I feel like there's a word missing there. We must go to the hospital or we must puncture her eye now. Negative three reason. We can't, we can't afford that. We have two more mysteries to solve after all of this. Um, I don't know what to do. We can't puncture her eye now. I don't even think we have tool for that. Let's go to the hospital. You rush to the hospital with Kana getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area. Oh, please be okay, Kana. Even though you're weird. When you wake up, it's already night. Trying to ask about your friend, you are met with weird reactions as if she never existed. You rush to the operating theater yourself, but are stopped by armed policemen. Whatever happened, the doctors must have been too late to help. Yeah, they didn't just disappear her or anything. Ooh, poor Canna. Well, it's better than losing reason so that we continue to investigate the weird mysteries. Solved mystery. You still process the events of the previous night. Corpse-eating eels that lay their eggs in eyes. 
Sitting before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. You wonder if you will ever hear from your friend again. <laughs> Eerie episode of Evolving Eels ending B. Rewards for solving this mystery. Experience, experience. Oh, negative three doom. That's nice. Plus one to reason and stamina. That's also nice. And the passing of one day. Hooray. What's gonna, what bad is gonna happen now? The old god stirs. Store closed. <laughs> the friendly dog disappeared last night. You'll have to find a new place to buy equipment. Oh no! Not my friend the dog who sold me cigarettes. <laughs> I'm back home to find another key, no doubt. We have three keys now, only two to go. Can we do anything? Oh, we can take a bath again. The shower will help. Which one of these regains reason because that's the one we need to do <laughs> okay oh we've got our creepy eldritch statue here as well now Ooh. all right guys well that's three of the mysteries down only two more to go but that's where i'm ending this video i hope you guys are enjoying this still as much as i am i continue to enjoy this game immensely and i find myself thinking about the game when i'm not playing it because i want to come back and play it because it's so much fun um, if you guys are enjoying it, please leave a like and leave a comment. I would love to hear your take on this game so far and the mysteries we've investigated as of right now. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to ring the bell to be notified of future videos. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon and I'll see you in the next video.